Hi everybody, thanks for joining in. My name is Mike Botta and I'm your friendly neighborhood engineer over here at Natec Plastics. So about three years ago, we became aware that many of our microfluidic clients were becoming frustrated with the lack of available technologies that they could use when transitioning their devices over from low volume prototype manufacturing over to high volume manufacturing. A lot of the technologies that were currently employed in the microfluidic space are more accustomed to low volume manufacturing and do not scale well when trying to ramp up to high volume production quantities. It was around that time that our team here at Natec Plastics embarked on a journey to help these clients find uh, suitable manufacturing processes that were uh, scalable that we could use and uh, employ with these customers to help them scale up their, their devices to high volume manufacture. So the first challenge with something like this is uh, figuring out how to create geometries that are small enough to meet the demands of the microfluidic space. Many of the uh, conventional injection molding techniques and mold making practices are, are sort of unable to uh, create geometries that are as small, which in these cases can be as small as 25 microns in channel width. Typically many microfluidic applications use an array of channels of some kind, uh, channels and holes, which can be as small as 25 microns, which for the sense of scale can be as small as a quarter of the size of a human hair diameter. So when you're considering something that small, you have to go outside the box and sort of investigate different types of, of uh, manufacturing techniques that can make a, uh, uh, a mold insert of some kind with features that are that small. Uh, so what we uh, ended up establishing was an unconventional manufacturing technique that's kind of comparable to 3D printing where mold inserts are basically grown from the electroplating process and we're able to utilize those uh, mold inserts inside of a conventional mold base. Uh, now the next uh, sort of challenge with that is so you have this unconventionally created mold insert that then has to go inside of a mold base, but how do we locate it? We don't have uh, the available approaches of attaching uh, an insert like this using these unconventional practices of, of manufacture. So we had to basically engineer a different approach to how to locate and hold uh, this insert in the tool and what we ended up with creating was a unique clamping strategy that uh, incorporated some additional components that we were able to to locate and firmly clamp that insert into the tool. So now I have a tool ready to go and the question becomes well what resin can we use to pick up on features that are that fine? So we started doing some material research in, in the field of microfluidics and understood that uh, the cyclic olefin copolymer, also known as COC, is one of the best materials for picking up very fine feature sizes from a, from a, from a, a, a shape, in this case, from our injection mold base. So uh, we, we acquired some COC from Topaz, who's one of the, pr the premier suppliers of COC, and began doing some trials and molding some pieces. And now that we have these pieces in front of us, the question becomes, well, gee, how do I inspect features that are that small? our sort of conventional measuring tools and calipers and, and micrometers aren't well suited to measuring channel sizes that are, that are uh, sort of like uh, channels that are in plastic. They're not well suited to measuring those types of features because there's nothing to measure against. And calipers certainly can't measure something that, that's that small. Uh, so what we ended up getting was a, an OGP smart scope which has the capability to zoom down to many times uh, what, the, what your eyeball can see. And um, we're able to inspect uh, a, number of comp a number of pieces at a given time using an inspection fixture. And what we found was that not only were we able to mold channels that were down to 25 microns in channel width, but also hold a tolerance of plus or minus three microns, which is an unbelievable feat. So what started off as a journey for the Natec engineers to support, to better support our microfluidic clients ended in the successful incorporation of a number of technologies, some known and established and some new for this industry. And what we were able to achieve was not only molded micro channels, but also with a very tight degree of tolerance that allow us to better support the microfluidic space. So with that in mind, please let our team here at Natec support you with using our innovative approach on your microfluidic application today. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, stay nerdy.